Just before midday, we got our fourth race of the season underway in the European Le Mans series. The two cars right front and centre were in the wrong position at the start. They were right in the centre of the track rather than over on the grid hatching. So eventually they would be pinged for effectively being out of position. But that didn't stop Sally Jolic from trying to get up the inside of Julian Canal and did gain one place. Look at Sarah Bovey's pink Ferrari here. Sideswiped by Freddie Hunt, who was looking for a way by Jim McGuire and Jean Ludovic. Fubert also spinning in the distance right in front of the American. He had nowhere to go in the number three United Autosports car. Giacomo Petrobelli and Michael Fassbender came to blows. The Ferrari judged to be at fault at turn 13, which pitched the Hollywood superstar around on the spot. Josh Cagill also had a spin from second place at the time in LMP3. Fuel going into what was a damaged 93 Porsche there at Proton. And this is spin for Paul Lafargue. He made a mistake in the braking area for turn one that slapped him into the barrier and it did a lot of damage to the nose of the Edex Sport 28. That was our first full course yellow as a result. We had about 15 minutes of safety car at the start of the race. Through the gravel would go the number two United LMP3 car again. So it was really in strife in the early well, the first two hours, to be honest, and that's uh, meant that the number two car eventually finished a long way back in ninth position in P3. Plenty of carnage, as usual, at the chicane as Julian Canal tried to home in on the race leader. Side to side battling in GT with the spirit of race for I number 55 on the inside of the Rinaldi racing offering and a good overtake there from Matt Griffin. The 37 car needed its front uh, bodywork changed after some damage for Nicolas Lapierre. That gave track position to the 65 that pitted on the same lap from Panis Racing. Lights flashing for one of the cool racing LMP3 cars behind. But uh, this was the gap, first to second, halfway through the race as Nico Schama struggled to hang on to the eventual winning car. Race was paused again to retrieve some debris from the center of the track and a chance to do a full sweep, in fact. Then Prema Racing making a fairly late pit stop. The number 17 car eventually finishing on the podium in the command of Malta Jakobsen in the closing stages, and Jakobsen leaving absolutely nothing on the table as he thrashed that cool racing car to a podium finish. Number four, Duquesne, finishing second in the hands of Sebastian Alvarez in the closing stages. They will be very, very happy with that. The little team from Luxembourg, who've had so much success over the years in the Michelin Le Mans Cup. But it's another win, two in a row now, for Inter-Europol competition. Guilherme Oliveira bringing the car to the finish in GT. Really good scrapping between Porsche and Ferrari. They've been at it for decades, and David Perel was unable to hold back Gian Maria Bruni in the braking area for turn 10, which gave road position to Proton competition. They were already championship leaders and therefore will extend the gap. Spirit of Race coming home eventually to finish in second position. But for the third time this year, it's another victory for Prima Racing for Ferdinand Habsburg, who started the car, Lorenzo Colombo in the middle, and Louis Delatrice as bringing it to the flag in the closing stages. Second place to Panis Racing, the 65 crew of Julian Canal, Nico Schama and Jop van Aertert. And Cool Racing make the podium with the 37 Orica of Nicola Lapierre, Nicholas Cruton and Yi Fei Ye. Here was the moment as Lorenzo Colombo and Ferdi Habsburg climb the fencing to cheer Louis Delatraz across the line. Winning GT car is Jean-Maria Bruni in 77 with Christian Reed and Lorenzo Ferrari. And the win in LMP3 for the second time, as mentioned, going to Nico Pino, Charles Cruz and Guilherme Oliveira. Another classic served up as the fourth race of the year for the European Le Mans series. And here's confirmation of the result after 132 laps. Then Prima take their third win of the year by 22.9 seconds at the moment. Expect that to extend to 32.9, though, remember. Cool Racing finish third ahead of United Order Sports and AF Corsa win the Pro-Am category. They win from Nielsen Racing and Algarve Pro Racing. We'll do the podium for Pro-Am in a moment or two. LMP3 is won by Inter-Europol competition of Poland from DKR Engineering, who hail from Luxembourg, and the Swiss squad, Cool Racing. So a double podium, in fact, for Cool. And GTE won again by Proton competition, that driving combination of Christian Reed, Lorenzo Ferrari, and Jean-Marie Bruno.